The Lumos Chrome extension helps us build faster in Webflow. It has fast class naming, so for any component class that's a class containing underscores, we can select a child element, hit the right arrow key in the class selector, and it returns the component name, allowing us to easily apply classes to children. Usually to convert pixels to rim, we would do 64 pixels divided by 16 REM, and that would give us the rim value. But with the Chrome extension, we can do 64, hit the space bar, hit the enter key, and it automatically converts it to rim. Usually to convert pixels to percent, we take the width of the element, 16 pixels, divide it by the width of the parent, 64 pixels, times 100%. So on this SVG, we could do 16 divided by 64 times 100%, and that would give us the correct size. The Lumos Chrome extension makes this a little bit faster because we can do 16 divided by 64, hit spacebar and enter, and it automatically multiplies it by 100% for us. The extension allows us to create buttons on our components for easily managing styles. So we need a div with a class of page underscore code underscore wrap, and inside that should be any embeds that have data attributes. So inside this embed, I'm gonna add some data attributes and we can name these attributes whatever we want. They need to start with data dash and then I called these ones text color. I could have called it font color, text style, anything we want there. And the order that we create these are the order the buttons will show up on the component. So I'm gonna want inherit to be the first button that shows up followed by brand and fade it. And those values are just linked to my variables. So now that I have that set, I'll go ahead and save and I'll select this eyebrow element here, and let's give this a data text color, and we'll go ahead and set this one to be brand by default, and we'll link this to a component field. Now, when we name our component field, it needs to include the name of the attribute. So I'll call this something like subheading um, text color, and that way it knows which attribute this is connected to. And then for this heading here, I could also link it to the same attribute, so I'll call it data text color, and we'll go ahead and link its value to be inherit by default, so it receives from its parent. And we'll connect it to a component field. We'll call this something like heading text color. And that way it includes the attribute name in our component field name. And let's create it. And now if we close this out, notice how brand is selected by default for the subheading and inherit is selected by default for the heading. But we could set the subheading to maybe be faded and that updates. And we could set the heading to be brand and we could change these to whatever we want. The extension allows us to easily reduce the opacity of any variable. Here we have a variable called theme text that's sometimes set to white and other times it's set to black. So under color, we can head to custom and we can plug in our variable theme text and then we'll add a percent sign and then I'll say 52% opacity. So if we hit the tab key, it automatically wraps it in exactly what we need. And once we apply that, regardless of the value of that variable, it will be 52% opacity. We could apply this to background colors, border colors, or anywhere we use a color variable. The extension also makes it easier to apply variables. Instead of having to always wrap it in a var, we can just type the variable name directly. I'll say font and I'll say primary bold. And once we hit the tab key, it automatically wraps it in the var for us. It also makes it easier when doing calcs. So say we want to do two times our grid gap for this top padding. Well, we can head over to custom and we can say grid gap main and we can say times two. And when we hit the tab key, it automatically wraps it in the variable and calc for us, making it easier to apply that. I'll leave a link to the extension in the description below. Check the Lumos docs for the latest list of extension features.